Welcome to Bedtime Sleep Stories for Grown-Ups by BZBsHoney.net. I hope you are settled in for the night and are ready to go on a journey of deep and relaxing sleep. We've put these special bedtime sleep stories for adults for anyone out there dealing with insomnia, sleep problems, sleep deprivation, anxiety, pain, or any other kind of issues preventing you from getting enough sleep and being fully rested and ready to take on the day. We truly hope these stories can help you achieve the elusive, deep, and uninterrupted sleep. Please enjoy this episode and consider subscribing to our channel to support and help the spread of these sleep stories to people all over the world with the same issues that brought you to this video. Thank you for your support and a deep and uninterrupted sleep to you tonight. Let's begin. The Pursuit of the Philosopher's Secret Chapter 1 the Unexpected Message The sun was setting over the picturesque town of Merwood, casting a soft golden glow on the quaint houses and cobblestone streets. Amidst the labyrinthine streets, a small, antiquated bookstore stood with a charm of its own. It belonged to our protagonist, Oliver, a man in his early thirties with expressive hazel eyes and a mind far too curious for his own good. Oliver was tidying up the store placing the day's unsold books back in their designated places, when a peculiar envelope slid under his door. It was made of old parchment, sealed with red wax, and had Oliver's name elegantly written on it. Intrigued, he gingerly opened the envelope to find a single page within. As Oliver's eyes skimmed the lines, a strange sensation took hold of him. It was an invitation to an auction for a book known as The Philosopher's Secret. He'd heard stories of it, tales passed down among book lovers and historians, but he had always thought them to be merely myths. The message read, Tomorrow at midnight, the grand hall of Forlorn Manor. Seek, and you shall find. It was an opportunity too alluring for him to resist. His curiosity piqued. Oliver decided to attend the auction, unaware that this decision would change his life forever. Excitement filled Oliver's veins as he closed the shop early the next day. He dusted off his grandfather's old tuxedo, a relic from a bygone era, but it had an air of sophistication that suited the occasion. As the sun dipped behind the horizon, he stood before his reflection. His hazel eyes sparkled with anticipation, and his heart pounded against his ribcage. A gentle smile crept upon his lips. It was the night of the grand event. In the quiet of his apartment above the bookstore, Oliver rehearsed his plan. He had saved a reasonable sum from the store, but he knew the philosopher's secret wouldn't come cheap. The auction invitation was a gamble, a leap of faith into the world of the unknown. He packed a small bag, double-checked the envelope's address, and took one final look at his serene little bookstore. Departing, Oliver felt an undeniable pang of anxiety. He had never been a risk-taker, content with the comfort of his familiar environment. But tonight was different. Tonight was the start of a new chapter in his life, full of uncertainties and unknowns. As he stepped out into the cool night air, he noticed the town of Merwood appeared different. The usually cheerful, bustling streets now lay deserted under the veil of darkness. A soft wind rustled the leaves, whispering tales of the night, amplifying Oliver's unease. Regardless, he pressed on, his curiosity outweighing his fears. Little did Oliver know, as he drove through the dark, winding roads leading to Forlorn Manor, that this wasn't merely an auction. It was the beginning of a grand adventure that would stretch the boundaries of his world. As the manor's imposing silhouette came into view, a shiver ran down his spine. The time had come, and there was no turning back now. Forlorn Manor stood towering and grim against the starlit sky, its gothic architecture casting long, eerie shadows. Oliver swallowed hard, his heart pounding like a wild drum in his chest. He parked his car among a sea of luxurious automobiles and stepped towards the grand entrance. Inside, the manor was abuzz with energy. A crystal chandelier hung in the grand hall, its lights flickering over the crowd of people who had come from far and wide for the event. Oliver found himself in a sea of wealthy collectors, discerning scholars and well-dressed opportunists. The room was filled with the murmur of many languages, the clink of champagne glasses, and the hum of anticipation. The auctioneer, a slim man with a well-groomed mustache, stood at the head of the room. 
When the clock struck twelve, he began to speak. His voice filled the room as he presented an array of rare and valuable items. Each object fetched astronomical prices, but Oliver remained undeterred, awaiting the item he had come for. Finally, it was time. The philosopher's secret was presented, and a collective gasp echoed throughout the room. The book was old and worn, its leather-bound cover etched with strange symbols that glowed slightly under the chandelier's light. The opening bid was made, and the numbers quickly began to rise. Oliver, gripping his bidding paddle tightly, waited for the opportune moment. As the bidding war escalated, a sense of unease settled over Oliver. He knew that this was not an ordinary book, and the people present were not just ordinary collectors. As he raised his paddle to place his bid, the Grand Hall's lights suddenly went out. Panic ensued as screams echoed around the room. Oliver felt a chill run down his spine. The night had just taken a terrifying turn. In the darkness, chaos unfolded. Oliver could hear the shuffling of feet, panicked voices, and the faint sound of something being moved. The air was thick with fear, and Oliver felt a grip of dread tightening around his heart. He stumbled blindly towards where he remembered the exit to be, but was intercepted by a forceful shove. He collided with something hard and crumbled onto the floor, his head spinning. Suddenly the lights flickered back on, casting an unforgiving glare on the scene. The crowd was disheveled, their masks of sophistication replaced by genuine terror. The auctioneer was nowhere to be seen, and the display case that had held the philosopher's secret was now empty. A collective gasp echoed throughout the room as the attendees discovered the theft. Accusations began to fly around the room as everyone became a suspect. Amid the pandemonium, Oliver noticed a small piece of parchment lying near the deserted display case. He discreetly picked it up and slipped it into his pocket. Escaping the manor amidst the chaos, Oliver returned to his car. He felt a mixture of relief and disappointment. Relief at having escaped the chaotic scene, but disappointment at the loss of the book he had eagerly sought. His heart raced as he unfolded the piece of parchment he had found. It was a cryptic note. The truth lies beneath the seeker's stone. Oliver was taken aback. What did this mean? He was far from understanding it, but he knew one thing for sure. He was now part of something much bigger than an auction, something dangerous and thrilling. Back in the safety of his bookstore, Oliver tried to make sense of the evening's events. He was a part of an adventure, whether he wanted it or not. He sat at his desk, the cryptic note spread before him. He replayed the events of the night in his mind, the high-energy auction, the sudden blackout, and the panic that ensued. The note was a mystery in itself. The truth lies beneath the seeker's stone. What could it possibly mean? Oliver had always had a penchant for puzzles and riddles, but this was far more cryptic than anything he had encountered before. Days turned into nights as Oliver pondered over the note. He researched everything he could find about the philosopher's secret, forlorn manner, and even tried to trace any reference to the seeker's stone. His quest seemed futile until one evening when he stumbled upon a local legend. The legend spoke of an ancient stone monolith known as the Seeker's Stone that stood in the outskirts of Merwood. It was said that the stone held a secret map to a treasure lost in time. The connection was thin, but it was the only link Oliver had. With renewed vigor, he decided to explore this lead. The moon was a thin crescent in the sky as Oliver stood before the Seeker's Stone. It was an impressive structure, weather-beaten and covered in moss. As he placed his hand on the stone, he felt an unusual warmth emanating from it. Suddenly, hidden symbols on the stone started to glow, matching those he had seen on the cover of the Philosopher's Secret. His heart pounded in his chest as he realized he was onto something significant, something life-altering. What had started as an invitation to an auction had become a dangerous game. The truth was beginning to unravel, and Oliver knew there was no turning back now. As he stood in the moonlight deciphering the glowing symbols, he had no idea what lay ahead or the foes he was about to face. Will he decipher the symbols? Will he find what he's seeking? Stay tuned for Chapter 2, The Seeker's Path. We've now come to the end of this chapter. Please stay tuned 
for the next chapter of this story to be published in the upcoming days.